Welcome Apucus. We are going to be making an inquiry to find out what it is your soul would like you to know. I had a bit of trouble starting this video and everything came crashing down so I don't know if that's relevant for some of you or not but yeah I just thought I'd mention it. Anyway we you like oracle cards specifically the inquiry cards uh, we will be using those as well as the mystical healing and the Osho Zen Tarot. Let's get into it. Okay, so one card for a Fucus, please. One card for a Fucus. Uh, it kind of just felt like it slipped. There we go. No, that was weird too. Okay. <laughs> It'll come out. The right card will come. There it is. There it is. And it is Priestess. How are you being called to step up and lead? Hmm. Interesting. How are you being called to step up and lead? Three cards for a few kiss, please. I just wonder if some of you are kind of like looking for your calling, maybe, or wondering what that is. Hmm. This is interesting. Two more cards for a few kiss for priestess, please. Here we go. Here's, oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Let me just pick this one up that has gone flinging across the room. Okay, so the first card here, really interesting because with the Priestess card, I haven't got too much of that, whereas all the other ones, all the other signs that I've done, I've gotten lots of information. So just this sense of like, so what am I meant to do? How am I meant to lead, right? Um, yeah, and then we have Experiencing Rebirth. So I'm wondering here, is this about you recreating yourself or, you know, changing direction in your life? Is this necessary for you to do? A few kiss. I'm a little bit stumped. So, yeah, so, 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 it seems that um, for some of you, there's been something that you've always dreamed of, potentially, um, ever since you were really young. Um, but see, this here also, I feel like experiencing rebirth is, especially it being a child, is going to an, into a new journey uh, in your life. Sort of like there's the split. It's like a split of some sort in your life. This is interesting. This is jumping out at me. The numbers 315. So I don't know if that relates to any of you. And that's eight. So this is a a a um a, a journey. This is the thing, it's a journey which is infinite, right? But the soul is infinite, it doesn't. Maybe this is what it is, the understanding that you as a soul will exist infinitely. The body is what, you know, that vehicle that carries the soul through this lifetime on this earth plane, that's what gives out. But the soul itself lasts forever at least until the, its purpose is done but then it's still an energy so it still exists there's some sort of dis it's it's kind of like waking up from the deception of what you've always believed to be the truth about existence and seeing it as something else there's there's this sense of um 
kind of stepping into this priestess energy and it doesn't matter whether you're male or female it's the energy so refer to it as a priest if you like a priestess is is i feel a little bit more of a of an ancestral ancient energy i suppose what are these other two cards here Moment to moment in compromise. Hmm. These two look so grumpy. Every time I look at them, they just look so grumpy. Like, mm, you're still here. Maybe that's how you feel about someone in your life. Maybe that's how you feel about yourself. There's this need to take everything step by step. To understand That there's enough to go around. Balance in your life is definitely required. And I feel as though actually treading this earth on a conscious level is um, something that you need to begin to adopt rather than just hoping for the best and I mean there's a difference between going with the flow and hoping for the best going with the flow is trusting hoping for the best is like oh I gotta do that right hope this happens might not work you know whereas going with the flow is knowing it's 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 moving through life with a knowing in a sense okay so yeah this is really really an interesting energy here if you guess i haven't had this from you before but it's intriguing intriguing but i do feel like the mask will the mask of deception will come off and I'm not saying you're being deceptive, but more about the truth about the existence of everything, or even just of your life, your soul. Hmm. We have embraced meditation. Yeah, so this is a good thing to do. If you're not already meditating, meditating get into meditating. Okay, and um, even if you find any meditations on, on YouTube about rebirth, potentially, that could be an experience that will really open things up for you. Embrace meditation. Tell me more about this for a few years, please. Ah, right. Okay. So, um, sorry, let me get these in the right order that they came out in. Um, sorry about that. Just had a, a knock on the door. This is your soul calling. <laughs> no. Um, anyway, so, slowing down. Um, See, this is this thing again, right, of um, the dream. Going back to what it is that you've dreamed of. Maybe achieving in your life. Could be a relationship. Could be anything in your life here, if you kiss. Okay, slowing down and going within and really working what out what it is that you want. Okay, um, using meditation to, to act as if you have that. Feel it, taste it, smell it, 
you know, and um, and be in that energy, okay, um, so that you can start to adopt that feeling on a regular basis in your life, and that will help to bring it in, right? And I say that because I've done it, so it is possible. We look for the look for the things in your life that you're doing that are taking you out of that, okay? Or your belief system that oh. I don't think that will really work or I tried it and then this happened and never runs rubbish or whatever, right? Um, so yeah, really look at that, okay? We also have past lives pop up here. I wonder if a regression would be helpful for some of you. Um, but there's something that is seeping through from your past lives. With this courage card coming up here, I wonder if it is actually courage. Um, or there's a common theme maybe that has happened throughout your lives that has come through. Um, and maybe, maybe it is a possibility that through meditation, this will actually come to light. Okay, and I just saw it the time ago, 11.11, so that could be the case. But by discovering this about yourself, you are going to attract in... Um, your soul family, you're going to be successful and have people cheer you on as you ride this journey through your life. You're going to bring through the strength and the courage that you need to continue on. Okay, you by, by stepping up, you're going to be that leader. You're going to be the one to, to lead the parade, you know. You're going to bring that circle together to connect in and when that happens the possibilities are beyond your imagination absolutely beyond it's going to be better than you ever dreamed of I feel like a few kids it's a matter of you believing that you're worth it that you deserve it and that it will come right you've got this here stop breaking agreements and i feel like this is related to your past lives there's some agreement that keeps on being broken in each lifetime is this the agreement of you leading the way stepping into this priestess energy it is time it is time for you to own the truth of who you are and that is this priestess It's kind of like an unveiling for you. This stop breaking agreements. What is this about? It's like you revealing yourself to yourself in a sense. I'll just pick this up. A funny thing is they have all landed, landed upside down. So I have no clue what's coming. So the first card we have here is stressed. Yeah. This could be how you're feeling like it's all getting a bit too much. And it's time for a change. Right, it's time for a change. You've you've had enough. You're done. Something's got to give, and something will give. Um, so I feel like it's important for you to take charge of that. To control that, in the sense of being open to receiving it, being open to surrender. Yeah. We have the outsider here. Stop looking through the gate. That is closed. Take yourself on the adventure that you need to take. Okay? This is a new beginning that is there to be had. Experience the rebirth. Okay? Because it's not just your adult, adult self that can experience this. This is also important for your inner child. It's important for your entire being. It's important for your the intergenerational healing that needs to be done. And it's important for your soul. This is what your soul needs. Remember, this is your soul telling you as the human being what it needs here. Okay, it needs you to break out and, and um, really um, embrace this new vision. Stop 
to stop walking around or you know carrying the weight of the burden of the stress around with you stop carrying the deception of what the truth of who you really are is which is this priestess energy you know maybe you were a priestess in a past life and it's time to it's time to tap into that and bring that through here if you kissed yeah yeah see look at this suppression here it's over it's done no more stop allowing yourself to be held back stop holding yourself back you don't deserve that it's not who you are and that is not how you're meant to live this life it's time for a change in direction and you you have the power to do that okay because we have this new beginning here it is time for you to be an active participant in the creation of your life to bring through the truth of who you are like I've already said to create this new beginning you've got everything you need this is bringing in every element of all your past lives everything that you've learned in this life to bring it all into the center of your being so that you can rise up and step up and lead because this is your calling this is what you're here to do and it's time to do it if you guess it is time okay I can't believe you're reading so short <laughs> it's not like this is that this is a really different energy I mean honestly if you guess I don't know who's here watching this but thank you for coming because this is yeah this is you needing to stop breaking these agreements with yourself each and every lifetime that you have and step up and lead the way okay right now let me turn to this outlook it turned straight away right on the page if you kiss and remember again it's not about the gender it's about the energy okay so if you're a male watching this, this still applies to you. Alrighty, Priestess. The Priestess is a teacher dedicated to service, freedom and leadership. You don't need to have it all together to lead. In fact, it helps if you don't. No one wants a perfect angel who hasn't made any mistakes. Let yourself, oh sorry, let your life be your message. Don't underestimate the power of sharing your story. It's by hearing someone else's journey that we feel less alone. We realise that we are actually all in this thing called life together. The difference between a follower and a leader is that a leader has the courage to go first. In stepping out, they shine a light on the path for others to venture forward to. Don't fret too much about trying to work out who is your tribe. Don't get stuck in age, hobbies, income or occupation. The best way to discover your tribe is to look in the mirror. I love it. If you feel called to lead, chances are it is because at some point in your life you longed for someone to lead you. Your tribe are longing for exactly the same thing as you were and are and might only be one step bus behind you. Hell, they might even be right alongside you. You don't even need, oh sorry, you don't need anyone's permission, just the courage to stand up. Embrace your struggles and the peaks, the troughs. You don't need to know the way. Just believe that there might be a different one. Your tribe is waiting for you. Step forward so they can find you. How are you being called to step up and lead? How can you be the leader you wish you had? 
there you go a few fists that's something to ponder upon okay so yeah i will leave that with you take care of your beautiful selves see you bye bye